The central focus was this man, wearing a denim shirt and pink sneakers. Right behind him, two detectives from Madagascar, the country from which he was deported from. A brisk walk on a cold morning. He wasn't prepared for the camera reception, but he played the part. The Chumia Bilali Kimali landed at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and was taken into custody by anti-narcotics police officers as a drugs trafficking suspect. Flashback to the afternoon of 14th August 2015. Bilali's yacht, christened Baby Iris, was destroyed by the Kenyan Navy 40 kilometers off their base in Tongwe, Mombasa. Right before the destruction, the vessel whose registration was traced to Britain and intercepted near Kilifi, trafficking heroin valued at 22 million 800 shillings, was rigged with explosives before its destruction, but there was one problem. We knew the owners of um, the vessel would have gone for them. The law normally allows 90 days for somebody to come forward to claim responsibility or ownership. And since they have not turned up, then we had to apply the, the, what is available to us as a, as a government. But today, investigators say they finally got their man. This morning, received one uh, the Chumia Bilali Kemali, who is under arrest as the key suspect in a case that involved a luxurious boat named Bebe the Iris, where 7.6 kgs of heroin was seized from the boat on 20th April 2015. Bilali is believed to be the mastermind behind the trafficking of illicit drugs destined for overseas. But Bilali was born and raised in Likoni, Mombasa, says his main business is selling gold and other precious stones in Madagascar, Dubai and Hong Kong, China. Investigations by the police placed Bilali at the center of the heroin trafficking syndicate. The subject, however, managed to evade arrest and went on to continue his drug trafficking activities on the Indian Ocean island of Madagascar, actively coordinating the transportation of heroin from Tanzania through Kenya to Madagascar. Kenyan authorities also profiled him for his role in supplying drugs to the United Arab Emirates and Europe. Dennis Okari, NTV.